Today I've come to the Holly Hedge Animal Sanctuary, which is in Barrow Gurney, just outside of Bristol. I thought it would be good to get a look behind the scenes and meet some of the dogs and cats here that are in need of rehoming, and of course some of the people behind the work here. They've also got an event happening at Ashton Court, a fun day, coming up on the 20th of September. So let's go and see who's involved. This is Martin, one of the kennel managers here. How are you doing, Martin? I'm very well, thank you. Good, good. So tell me about the Holly Hedge Sanctuary. Okay, Holly Hedge Sanctuary has been operating as Holly Hedge. This is our 23rd year now. Really? Yep, it was going for about a six to seven year period beforehand um, yep. by Pauline, uh, Lisa and our founder. She was operating out of her garage at that time. Really? Um, this was a kennel block that belonged to someone else. Which so she set up the sanctuary just from her, her garage? garage yeah, from her garage. And um, apparently at one point there were something like 30 dogs and about 25 cats in her property at the same time. So we've heard about some of the many dogs here in need of rehoming at Holly Hedge Animal Sanctuary. But uh, if you're not a dog person, how about the cats and kittens? Inside with Bristol being European green capital this year, I thought I'd bring you a few simple solutions to a problem that we're all facing, not just here in Bristol, but around the world. It's plastic pollution. Over the next few weeks, we're going to be looking at ways in which we can make a difference in our daily lives. Simple, easy and affordable solutions that help you live with a bit less plastic in your life. And each week we're going to be running competitions, so you're going to have a chance to win lots of very cool stuff to help you live with less plastic. So you may not think that autumn is the time for flowers, but there's still a lot of action going on on the Ballast Seed Garden. I caught up with the curator Nick Ray to find out more. This is called the Squirting Cucumber and it's a marvel of the natural world. It's evolved to have these little short cucumber type fruits. I'll just pick one off the ground here. Yeah. So this is a mature fruit. Am I in danger of being squirted upon here? You are, <laughs> yes. So it's quite windy today, so I don't, some of them might have been set off, but we'll, we'll have a look and see um, if any of these are... Oh. Ah! <laughs> did you see it go? Yes. It actually really did squirt with like a huge pressure. <laughs> It's great. It's really great. Let's try, let's try this one here. Let's see if we can get this one. Let's see if this one's ready to go. Wow. That's incredible. So is it, is it just squirting out water or is it seeds no, included the seed, in the that? the seeds are coming out. There are some similarities between uh, the way humans reproduce as well as the way this cucumber does. Indeed there are, <laughs> yes. One of the marvels of the natural world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're not so far away from plants after all. Today is the spring equinox around the world, day and night are at equal length. And here in the UK, we still celebrate the spring equinox as the first day of spring. All around me here, I can see that in action. There are catkins on the trees and the buds are bursting forth. Spring flowers are pushing their way through and the whole of nature really is coming back to life after a long winter. And it used to be celebrated, the spring equinox, as a festival of balance given that day and night are at equal length. So I thought today here on The Source, I'd show you a couple of hidden gems here in Bristol that you can go to if ever you're feeling like you need to restore a little bit of balance in your life. Now the spring head itself was redeveloped in 2000 by a local artist and there's poems and words here on the floor. But again, it feels like a really undiscovered place. Just over there, you've got the city and as soon as you cross over the spring, you're into the rolling countryside. Yeah, I got to go up in a balloon this morning. I got up very early and I went up with cameraman Tom and I'm feeling quite brave because actually I'm scared of heights, as you she might see in a moment. Nice. She is, she is. But you did very well. I think you only cried for like two seconds. So <laughs> you got that out of the way it really quickly. It was absolutely incredible. I mean, yeah. what an experience. I mean, so let's see what happened then when Nat was in a balloon. We're running through the fields, trying to find our balloon and keep up with Kelly, who's organising it all here. It's just amazing. But my heart's actually started to race because I am actually scared of heights and I've never been in a balloon before. And uh, seeing it all inflated behind me, it's feeling like it's going to happen. And it's a reality. 
Uh, but Tom's with me and he's done it before, so uh, I've got some strength in numbers. And it's an amazing morning. We're off. We're off. We're in the Fortnum and Basin balloon and we are reaching up into the sunny skies here at the Bristol. International Balloon Fiesta 2015. Richard is our pilot. Good morning. Good morning, Richard. Looking out behind me, I can see the Avon there sparkling in the city and what a fantastic morning. It's so beautiful up here. And this is actually my first balloon ride. Now, as you may have heard earlier, I'm, uh, I'm white knuckling it here. I'm gripping onto the sides. And uh, were it not for the fact that I was uh, having to focus on presenting, I'd probably be shaking a little bit too. But actually, it's, it's OK. It's not too bad. In fact, it's really wonderful up here, isn't it? I'm hoping a calming pilot for you. You know, it's just the most fantastic way to travel this. Now, this is Sue Atkinson. Um, She's on the organising uh, committee of the Balloon Fiesta. You saw me this morning just before I went up. I did indeed, Matt. Yes, you were a little nervous, weren't you? <laughs> you were just like, get on with it, girl. <laughs> indeed, it's great fun when she wants her up there, though. From the 26th of May to the 13th of June, one of the West End's longest running and most popular shows comes to the Bristol Hippodrome for the first time. It's the Jersey Boys and here to tell me all about it is the Jersey Boys. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Well, you guys are looking fantastic. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> and you're all talking unison. Oh, <laughs> that's right. That's right. Yeah, that's what we do. Yeah. We sing together. We do that we. An awful yeah. you, boys, lot, you boys are tight, aren't you? <laughs> well. I will count. Yeah. So, right. Is you are going to put your weight on your left foot. I'm just going to say, I'm not a very... I'm a good dancer, but not yeah. learning, so we'll see how we get on. That's all right, we'll give it a go. Take, take, take take a you're a freestyler, why don't we just freestyle? <laughs> yeah. Good, right. Now you're going to point your right foot to the side. Yeah. Then you're just going to be... Oh, very nice uh, point there. May I just there. say, this is Look very good line, legs. very good line, yes. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> we have a little personality coming out too, so... <laughs> big personality. <laughs> so we're going to be placed onto our right foot. And tie together side. Cha, cha, cha. Then forward on your left. Forward, Two. replace, back, Three. and cha, 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 cha. And back, Two. place, forward. Three. Yeah. Cha, 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 cha. And, and step, now try smaller step, steps. Smaller. Step, step, cha, cha, yes. cha. Step, step, cha, cha, cha. Step, nice. Nice. Cha, cha, cha. There we go. Step, oh step, cha, yes. cha, cha. Step, step, <laughs> cha, cha, cha. Turn it around. Step, Two, three, cha, cha, cha. Step, cha, cha, cha. Now I'm going to see if I can lead you and. Step, step, I think they're doing cha, pretty cha, good. Cha, I think cha, they're doing really good. Cha, cha, cha. Step, 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 so we've been shut out. <laughs> this is lovely and Lillian Boutte and this is Denny from, uh, okay, from, from the Jazz Festival and we what can't come in and do the up? interview. Tom is stuck inside. <laughs> yes. That's more sweet than it is sour. Yeah. Um, I do like that very much. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Loving the pink stack. <laughs> I think we'll do another take of that. The Malago Spring is a pretty and tranquil haven just outside the city of Bristol. <laughs> One of the other chefs and proprietors. Hello. This is Lee, in fact, it is not Lee. And that's Chuck. So we might just <laughs> have to do that again. It's Tim, isn't it? Yes. I thought the Sean's would don't touch, but apparently. I can roll. Let's have a look. It's a pound because we're in Clifton. It's not pennies. We got stuck. Let me try and roll it a different way. Give it a bit of a push. No, it got stuck again. <laughs> Maybe if I do it like that. No, it's got stuck. Does anyone know how to roll, roll things down it? Where's the designer? Hello and welcome to The Source. It's a new week, it's a new piece of fantastic street art in Bristol. And of course, it's a very loud truck coming along right now. <laughs> 